so how to download and install windows 10 for free uh unlike earlier version of windows when you have to have a key uh, like windows xp you were not able to install it without a key windows 7 you were able to install it but it was for like 30 days and then it will uh, deactivate some of the feature like limit you so same is true for the windows 10 you can download it for free and install it let's see how we can do that <clears throat> let's go with edge so i can run it i don't have to save and then scan it uh, no xp only 10. <clears throat> download Windows 10 we go with this link download tool now so there are two ways we can either get the tool now and it will create installation media for us or we can go and through this uh, like uh, if you have key or you are part of an organization then you can go and get uh, them from here <clears throat> for example if you if you're an insider like you uh, you have a technet subscription or your school gives you education licenses so these are the options but we're going to go with this download tool now what it's going to do is you're going to get the latest copies of all the files windows <clears throat> and it's going to make an iso for us so we can either burn it on our um, usb uh, and make it a bootable usb that we can take to different computers and install it or we can save an iso on our hard disk whatever we uh, is convenient for us so this tool is because uh, windows 10 uh, you know it was released in 2015 now it's to almost end the end of 2019 let's accept this so within four years they have updated it windows constantly and with those xp or 7 and 8 they will give you a service pack one like sp1 sp2 sp3 but with windows they are not doing this they what they're doing is they are giving the build number like and the current build is 1909 uh, previously like it was eight last year it was 18 something so that's how they're doing it so it's asking me either I can upgrade this PC that you see it's already a Windows 10 or can create installation media that's what I want to do for another PC so like if it was the Windows 7 we could do uh, the upgrade so use recommended option for this PC if I unclick it I get the option to choose what I want for example if maybe the old computer is 32 bit that I want to upgrade or I want to create an installation medium for a number of devices in my network that uh, some of them are 32 bit some are are 64 bit so I select both and then I can go and without creating two mediums I have just one medium and I I can install it through throughout but I'm gonna go with the uh, recommended option for this PC because I'm gonna install it on one of my virtual machine right here uh, oh this is the server um right there so i'm going to create a new virtual machine over here so that's why i'm going with the setting here i want an iso i can uh make the usb flash drive but since i'm doing it uh, it just tell them uh, basically this option is tell this tool where to store files i can you do the usb flash drive but since i'm installing it inside a virtual machine i'm gonna go with the iso file click now it's asking where to save it we can say Windows 10 here I also file in documents let's go save now it's gonna go through the progress like let me minimize it so <clears throat> so this is the progress step it's gonna download everything uh, I'm gonna pause the video here so you don't have to watch this uh, um, wheel some people call it wheel of death so just uh, I'm gonna pause the video when it's almost done I'm gonna resume it all right so it's almost done i will say it's pretty fast i have a 100 megabits per second connection and it took less than five minutes from like about that 10 percent to 90 percent so 
it's not a, a very huge file unless you are somewhere that is you have broadband or DSL I hope not <laughs> but uh, it's like if you are um, I hope not the dial-up I didn't mean to say DSL DSL is still something but dial-up is horrible back in the day that when I first started using it it was like on a lucky day you will get 4.8 4.9 kilobyte so All right, it says either either we can burn it to a DVD drive, like uh, insert a DVD and burn the file and then take it with us, but we don't need to uh, since I'm using it on this computer. But what you can do is okay, you can open DVD burner or burn it on a DVD disk and then insert it in that uh, computer that you want to install it on. Or you can use that USB in the start, but uh, uh, it wasn't for my purpose, but that's how you download and install the Windows 10 uh, Basically download it. We're still gonna install it. So let's click on finish It's gonna clean up. So you see I have a Windows 10 already installed in my virtual machine and it's running uh, the reason I'm not installing it uh, using this I wanted to show you but you also see that it's uh, left only 30 th days for evaluation so I will be discarding that uh, installation uh, within the next month and uh, <coughs> uh, the actual reason that I'm installing this Windows 10 is that I am gonna create a Windows 10 uh, um, series and then Office 365 series so I needed the maximum number of uh, days on it so let's go now we know where the windows uh, iso is it's in the documents right there you see it's uh this image it's 3.97 so you can easily put it in a 4.27 gb um, dvd drive so let's go and fire up our virtual machine we're gonna create a new one uh right here we can click new here or we can right click and virtual machine we're gonna go new virtual machine windows 10 and office 365 so we'll know that what we want to do with this one i'm still going with generation one i'm not uh, going with generation two you can do but uh I like it to keep it where it is I'm gonna give it at least 2 GB we can actually come back and in the settings we can go and change it you would know from my previous videos so this one I'm, I want to give it 127 the maximum reason is usually I put it only 50 but since I want to install uh, a few other softwares office 365 and the Windows uh, deployment assessment and ADK so I'm giving it this one and hopefully this will be more than enough we can either install an operating system later operating system from a bootable DVD or CD drive like if we had uh, burned the uh, DVD drive then this virtual machine actually can access my D drive as well but I'm gonna go with the installation media that is in documents and Windows 10 I'm gonna click next and finish so now what it's gonna do is just like a physical computer it's gonna reboot itself and install it for me uh, so let's fire it up start I said reboot <laughs> I thought that it was gonna uh, it was already running all right so you see right off the bat it's a set to Windows logo is there not gonna it's asking me all the options Let's click now
and it's starting it's asking me the product key I can click if I have the product key I can enter it I don't have a product key and it didn't ask me which one I want I can go with the professional or all that I accept custom because we want to install a brand new one so now it's going to take again time I'm going to pause the video here right so again it took less than five minutes to be here uh, so we're almost done restart and I hope that it does not start from the uh, our DVD drive because and when you start from the ISO you see if I press any key it's gonna go back to DVD and get the installation files again but since I did not it's gonna go to the hard drive the visual hard drive and continue the installation from there it will stick still take the files from the installation media but basically this time is getting from the hard drive So it's uh, rebooting again. <clears throat> it reboots quite a few times, and if you remember from Windows XP, that was a long 50 55 minute installation. <clears throat> Alright, so my region is United States. We go with this one. So this installation is a little bit different than the one for the um, for the enterprise. You see on my computer it's Windows 10 Pro so what's the difference between Windows 10 Pro and N I think I did the N ah 
also Windows 10 and is basically for Europe <coughs> All right, so basically it's asking for uh, is it a personal use or an organization i can actually go with the organization and show you how to connect it to the um mm, let's see if we can able to if we are able to connect to our um domain all right so it's asking me So we don't have that one. Work or school account? Uh, should I use next? Now it's a bummer. Domain join instead. So we click on domain join, and my domain is. Um, let's do is. What name do you want to use? I'm going to go with this, and the password is going to be this. Confirm password. So, so security question one of three is childhood nickname, parent Matt, all the school. So, it's going to ask us pet's name. We name it pet for the sake of city where you're born we click it city and childhood nickname of course I'm just doing it for the sake of uh, signing up all right so do more across devices with activity history do we want it now <clears throat> digital assistant decline so basically we are declining all the services from Microsoft you can you it these are optional you can click them but I am checking no so it does not take time to uh, install or activate or hog down my system like I don't need it uh, them for evaluation purposes <coughs> That's a misleading article and name. It's uh, this might take several minutes, okay? But yeah, like uh, Windows N is, uh, uh, I think it has media related uh, things that are off, they don't want it to be shipped. Uh, uh, as a stand standard package and only if the user wants to go and download it all right <clears throat> so basically that cr account that we created it's a local admin account that is if we want to create connect it to our um, domain account I'm gonna show you one thing I already showed in the other video but if you want the local since it's a virtual machine if you want the local resources of uh, my host machine you can click more and select them for example uh, thumb drive or anything that I plug and play later so this is that but just click connect and it's connected so oop, I give it the 
okay so for this one I incremented uh, all right so I'm gonna pause the video here So almost there. Let's click on connect. Click the screen again. And we are there. For us to connect it to our domain all we have to do is just go give the domain name and password and it will be connected but since it's a lab environment we have to do thing a little bit different so you see this one is uh, our windows So first thing you have to go to open network settings, Ethernet and point it to our domain. Uh, so you have to edit the IPv4, uh, that would be 192, 192, 168, 1.1, I think it was 147, I want to say so how did I get this number this is basically my uh, the IP address of my server now to better understand it you have to watch my earlier videos where I installed everything <coughs> but I can show you the uh, you see right there so that's what I'm basically since it's a lab environment on my server is not giving the IP addresses but my router the physical router is that's why I'm pointing my uh, machine to go to this um, address to for it to be able to connect to uh, to my domain so now it's it was Ethernet we can go oh, we can go to system and we can go to So this is activation. So this is not activated, but you see that it's fully functional. Uh, but we were looking to domain join it. Where is it? Activation, backup, Windows. Again, we are out of <coughs> settings. <coughs> System. I'm having a hard time finding that what I'm looking for that's uh, pretty so change read read system info this one and then you click on change setting you click on change and you give the domain name so my domain name is if you go over here and run the server manager and you click on oh local server Active Directory. That's my domain right there, Imran.local. So I'm going to give it Imran.local. And it's going to ask me if it's the correct, it goes and talk to that server.
because of that IP address we put in the IPv4 it's asking me uh, for administrative uh, rights to be able to join if it was wrong it and I had put the wrong uh, IP address and it there is no server on that address it will error out so I'm gonna give the administrator right credentials it's gonna tell me welcome to the wrong it now this computer is uh, connected to my domain and it wants me to restart it I'm gonna restart it and it, once it comes back uh, it's gonna give me the option to uh, log in with the domain and everything domain related will uh, take uh, effect on it so since you see uh, admin rights is uh, the one that needs to be put to uh, join computers but then I can go to users and I can use any of these users to connect to uh, uh, to use that computer for example I don't this is the local admin I click on other it's signing into Imran so I see a bill and give the bill password bill is a user over there uh, from my earlier vi videos if you remember we have to click basic session because it's uh, basically it's trying to get the local resources um, <coughs> um, take care of the local resources and uh, this one at this screen whatever I do it doesn't work because it's uh, to log into a domain join you can click uh, all control delete or you can send this command other users we give bell and again password make sure that it's saying sign into Imran because it's or sign into your uh, uh, domain name so you see now it's logging in with the domain credential I can use any of these users and this machine we never created the local accounts on it it's it gets the uh, username password from you verified it by the server the domain and let you log in and use that computer so this is how you download and install Windows 10 for free if you like this video if it helped you in any way please rate share comment and subscribe and I see you in the next one hopefully office 365 thank you and God bless.